Facing mounting pressure over his handling of the growing migrant crisis, today President Biden met with Mexico's president, Andres Manuel López Obrador. The crucial talks ahead of a summit in Mexico City come just one day after President Biden's first trip to the southern border since taking office, where he met with officials in El Paso. But they need a lot of resources and we're going to get them for them. And while he did not meet directly with migrants, he was met with criticism from all sides. Texas Republican Governor Greg Abbott handed the president a letter blasting Mr. Biden's lax border policies for encouraging the migrant influx and arguing the visit came two years too late. And that is the only reason why we have these people coming across the border like we do is because both the Homeland Security Secretary and the president are not in enforcing current laws. There were a record 2.6 million illegal border crossings last year. After President Biden left El Paso, the Border Patrol Union tweeting, the photo op is over. Let the insanity resume. Has the federal government done enough to prevent this? To prevent, no. Absolutely not. They're trying to cover bullet wounds with band-aids. Migrant advocates say the president's new immigration policy is still inhumane. That policy would expel to Mexico up to 30,000 migrants a month who unlawfully entered the U.S. from Nicaragua, Haiti, Cuba, and Venezuela. That's where Soriad V. Rivero and her family are from. They shared with us images from their harrowing journey through the Panamanian jungle, clinging to the top of a train in Mexico to arrive here at an El Paso shelter. What is, what's your message for President Biden? We want an opportunity to stay, she says. We are not delinquents. We are good people. Two senior administration officials say the president did not meet with migrants here in El Paso because they'd already been processed at the facility he visited. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.